All right, guys. Well, good morning. Uh, seemed like it was probably about time to give you a little update on the drawer and platform system. Um, let you know how it's been doing. We've had a chance to get it out on a couple of trips now. Um, our longer Thanksgiving trip and then um, the winter camp out for Jason's Patreon group. Um, so we got a chance to put through spaces, kind of see what's working well and what isn't. So we'll give you a quick update here today. Let's get into it. All right, so first, the things that are working good that I'm um, pretty happy with. Um, finally got the drawer face on and a handle, which you guys hadn't seen yet in the last video. Um, got a little cutout for the lock and handle. And so the slides are working great. Handle's nice to have finally on there. That was a pain in the butt. I was just being lazy not getting that on. Um, and we've got some basic organization down. Um, the stove is sitting on top of his propane cans and a little um, little can here to kind of hold up this end. This isn't the final stove we're going to end up using. This is going to get upgraded. This is a cheapy Orzark trail that we've had for years. Um, so I didn't want to kind of configure anything permanent until I have that sorted out. Um, and then in the back, we've got our camp kitchen stuff. Um, we've got just some basic um, kind of like tool drawer mats in the front here to keep some noise down and everything. And in the back, we've got a thicker foam where our kitchen gear is. So it's been working really well. It's nice to have the separation of our kitchen gear um, and our food stuff. Finally having that separate is fantastic. Um, no more digging through two different Plano cases to try to figure out where things are. Um, on a typical trip now, we can simply take one 68 quart Plano for our actual food and it's been working really really nice so overall function setup organization i've been really happy with um, one thing that isn't final yet is the cover for the front half and uh, going to be the platform to actually set the stove on when we use it this way um, I mocked this up just out of some spare MDF I had and the only real problem with this being functional um, is that I didn't have short screws to go through so I've got bolts on on it instead and they stick up high enough that when I turn it around to have it as a cover um, the bolts stick up too high so I can't actually close the door with this in place. So for right now, it just lives over there, but that'll eventually um, be, I believe, and we'll see, I'll, I'll get to kind of where I'm going with this in a moment, but probably the HDP um, plastic was my plan um, in quarter inch. So we'll see, that, that'll be the next experiment probably once we get the soap and everything figured out. This side, um, still a little undecided, but the way we've been using it now is just as a big open hole to put things, which has been really handy for awkwardly sized stuff. Um, chairs fit under here, a couple of small tables, our camp toilet, our buddy here, first aid, tire chains. It's just been really handy to not have to worry about fitting it within a drawer, being able to close it. Um, by the time you add a width of hinges and the thickness of the drawer itself, you actually reduce the usable space by quite a bit. So this has been really handy. The only thing I don't like is having an open hole. It just looks messy. So my plan right now is I'll get another drawer face, just the face like this, matching handle, and then um, I'll add hinges into the T slot of this upright um, and just be able to fold it out and still have access to the entire space. So I think that'll end up looking nice, still have all the function of having a big open hole to shove stuff, um, and 
the benefit of being a heck of a lot cheaper than another drawer and set of slides too. But function is the main thing. Uh, the cost would be worth it if I thought it would be a more usable space. But this is working out really nice. So I think we're gonna experiment with that route first. Okay, and so now, what's working out, maybe not as well as I had hoped? Well, this. Um, our goal was always to keep our center row seats usable, because we do still have kids. We want to be able to take friends along and have that functionality. Um, and so we kind of came up with the idea of using this front section where things fold um, as our clothes storage and closet space, um, which is great. I just haven't been able to come up with like the perfect implementation of that so far. Um, it's got a fold where it folds to be able to use our seat still. Um, and what I'd come up with, or about the only way to really, I don't know, do it effectively, was to have the top fold separately from the frame. So the three-quarter MDF folds up, and as you can hear, it goes down flush. Um, and then we've got the foldable module back here. Um, and what I'd come up with, you know, as a way to have you know, a lid, reasonably easy access, was to have this HDPE plastic um, as these slidable lids, which in theory, I think is still great, um, but it has to be eight inch not uh, not quarter eighth inch to be able to slide on top of each other um, inside the the T slots of uh, the 8020 aluminum um, and like I said in theory it works really good we've got a ton of stuff in here um, it fits winter gear just fine we had a ton of stuff most of which is still in here uh, from Jason's Patreon camp out and we're able to fit everything great that was just the two of us um, so from that implementation, it's been working really well. I've been pretty happy with it. Um, the problem comes from the flexibility of the HDPE. And like right now, I don't know if you can really tell, but especially this one, um, it's, it's like, it gets deformed with temperature changes. Um, this had been folded up for a while because we've been using it, take the kid to school and everything, run errands around town. It had been folded over. So then this is taking the weight of everything that's inside it's you know sagging on it just from gravity and it's actually kind of taken on a new shape from that and I think it does that a lot with the temperature changes too so um, you know they, they kind of stick together when they move which isn't a big deal I can live with that um, but on our Thanksgiving trip when we had a similar amount of stuff because it was pretty cold there too um, I also had a laptop on my side because I was offloading GoPro footage um, and so I was using that and again when it was folded over with the weight of the laptop um, it, it's enough to push these it doesn't necessarily take a lot push these out of the track of the 8020 um, and then you've got stuff falling out over bumpy roads we were off-road most of that trip so that's an inconvenience um, so I will probably just try using um, eighth inch uh, plywood as, as a, the same, same concept, just as a different material and see how that holds up to gravity and being folded and everything. Um, because in theory, this goes up and it doesn't fold flush because of the thickness of the top panel MDF but it sits up here just fine. Um, this doesn't move around at all when you're, when you're moving, driving, and easily you have room to put the seats up. So overall, I, I, I am actually still happy with the overall implementation of this. It's just gonna be perfecting the drawers of the, the closet module itself to make it more functional, more stable, um, kind of keep things in place better. And quick side note, on the other video, I did have someone ask um, how I secured this whole thing into the back. And 
the answer is probably not real satisfying, but it does work. Um, and that's zip ties. Um, I've zip tied the bottom bottom rail here to the attachment points for the original third row seat. Um, done that on both sides and it does allow it to move just a touch but no more than probably like I don't know a half an inch or so back and forth. Um, so in my mind that's still a pretty satisfactory solution um, and yeah it just works. That's our little update for today. Just a little real world check-in. Let you know how it's all actually going. You know, I just don't wanna put a video out there and not follow up and pretend that everything works great all the time because as you can see, it doesn't, but nothing that's unfixable. Um, so it should be a fun process to kind of refine this and make it uh, just exactly, work exactly how I would like it to. So appreciate you watching. Uh, if you found this useful at all, give her a thumbs up. We'd appreciate a subscribe to the channel, um, follow us over on Instagram, and we'll see you again for the next adventure.